Tangible results. Since the last application, we've achieved the one-day production run of the Liberator Brick Press on December 18, 2012. Since then, we continued and built Lifetrack 5, Lifetrack 6, the Salt Pulverizer, an upgraded brick press, laser cutter, iron worker, backhoe, and trencher. Let's run it! Then we showed a proof of concept of how our open source tools can work in harmony to produce a beautiful, affordable home, the microhouse. And in another proud achievement, Lifetrack 5 is now working in a pilot project, an urban farm in New Orleans. We have demonstrated radical optimization of prototyping speed, resulting from our modular life-size LEGO building set with simple components such as tubing, plate, and bolts, and interchangeable modules. As an example, in 2012, we built an iron worker machine for cutting 1 by 8 inch steel slabs and we built the machine over a period of six months. This November we proved that we could build a radically redesigned, simplified version in under 12 hours. Let me repeat, that is one day. We have proven that we can reduce prototyping cycles from the typical timescale of months to the timescale of days. Our modular components promote this, such as the universal rotor, that transforms from a tractor wheel in one form to a trencher in another in just a few minutes. The Microhouse success sparked a lot of interest and the designer, Chris Reinhardt, is now OSE's architecture product lead. Building on these successes, we are evolving the extreme manufacturing techniques to a revenue model based on educational production workshops. Participants pay us for a structured build experience and stakeholder clients can walk away with a finished product made during the workshop such as a brick press or a house. This is already working for us. We have secured clients for both. We will be developing this workshop model for all of our products and we will be refocusing our core staff as organizers and leaders of these workshops. Our scaling model is training people an overlay of structured education on top of production. Playing in the dirt. To help develop this new model, we are also starting a joint program with Katarina Mota of Everywhere Tech, a project dedicated to open source tech transfer. This includes creating a residency program, inviting highly skilled open source contributors to help refine our work. On the documentation front, we are currently using the Dazuki platform. Now, in a few clicks, one can access any single development point or how-to guide for any of our machines. We have also achieved a milestone of real-time documentation. We upload media to the Trovebox open source photo site, and remote collaborators generate instructionals real-time so that how-to guides are completed at the same time as the build. On the infrastructure front, we propose to take our built environment to the next level towards a mecca for open source projects. We will be building more microhouses, an electronics workshop, an outdoor facility for summer overflow housing, and a recreation center. This is intended to attract high caliber people for world class work by making our site a truly pleasant and inspirational experience. I'm also going on a college tour to recruit. We intend to increase our applicant pool to grow the organization from within and to allow people to self-select for our one-of-a-kind experience. As part of this, we will provide a more structured educational curriculum. This is our program in a nutshell. With our learnings on social production, with our extreme development techniques, and with a stellar team, we're ready to finish the entire GVCS by end of 2015. We owe this to the world. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> okay. That goes right on the cover of the funding proposal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hang it on. <laughs> yeah, hang it on. <laughs>